Prisma is an abbreviation for the preferred reporting items for systematic reviews and meta-analysis. So what is Prisma? Prisma is a set of guidelines and standards for reporting systematic reviews and meta-analysis in uh, medical research or healthcare research. The PRISMA was developed to improve completeness in reporting of systematic review and meta-analysis. It also was developed to improve the reliability of these type of studies, i.e. systematic reviews and meta-analysis. It ensures that methods and results of the systematic reviews and meta-analysis are correctly and clearly reported. It also evaluates the reliability of the finding. So, PRISMA is a guidelines that consists of two parts. The first part is a 27 item checklist. The second part is four phase flow diagram. So this checklist provides framework for reporting different parts of the systematic review. This checklist, the 27 item checklist, addresses sections of the systematic review, including the title, the abstract, the research question, the methods, the results, the discussion, the funding sources, the study design, the search strategy, the data extraction, and quality assessment and statistical analysis. It also recommend assessment of risk of bias in each individual study. So this is the form for the 27 checklist. There are two pages here. They are available online as given here. So in this uh, checklist or the form for the checklist there are 27 checklists as shown here section and topic checklist item and the location where the item is reported so for the title there is an item uh, checklist item for the title for the abstract and for the introduction and for the methods for the abstract, there are additional 12 checklists that has been produced and there is a form for it to fill. So each section within the systematic uh, review and meta-analysis, there is a checklist um, and this checklist, the location where this uh, item is uh, identified has to be uh, inserted here for the uh, methods and also as shown here under the method eligibility criteria, search strategy, data items, study risk of bias assessment, synthesis methods and for the second part of the form, the study selection, um, result of individual study, the discussion section, there are four items that has to be located uh, in the systematic review. And also there is another section for the uh, other information as the support, the complete uh, competing interest and so on. So these 27 checklists in addition to the 12th checklist for the abstract has to be uh, filled 
before submitting and during formation and shaping up of the systematic review and meta-analysis. So the second uh, part of the prisma is a flow diagram. The flow diagram has four faces in it or four sections. Those sections provide summary of the screening, eligibility, selection, and exclusion process, and the criteria of collated studies for the analysis in the systematic review and meta-analysis. The diagram have four phases, the identification phase, the screening phase, the eligibility phase, and the included study in the uh, um, systematic review. That is the fourth phase. For the identification phase, the diagrams have um, boxes in it and these boxes has to be filled. So for identification, first of all, the um, aim of the research um, or systematic review and meta-analysis has to be clear and defined and then several different uh, publication databases can be searched with certain keywords that are relevant to the objective or aim of the uh, review. Uh, some of these uh, databases are the PubMed, the MPES, the Co Cochrane Library, uh, the Web of Science, uh, Scopus, and so on. So any of these databases that has been searched with certain or specific keywords, the number of uh, studies or publication or records that has been identified in those uh, search engine for publication has to be reported in this box and then any duplicate there will be the next step will be to filter those uh, um, uh, articles or studies that has been uh, selected and those that are duplicated will be removed before moving to the next step, which is screening. Once the number of the uh, records or uh, papers that have been identified to be relevant to the uh, intended uh, systematic review, the next step is to screen those paper for title and abstract. So each step here will lead to reduction in the total number of the uh, records or papers. So those selected in the phase of identification will be put for a screening phase uh, for the title and the abstract, whether the title and the abstract is relevant to the topic of the uh, intended uh, systematic review and meta-analysis. Those that are not relevant will be excluded. And the reason or reasons for excluding the records or the papers will have to be given. Whether the record was just only a uh, uh, conference um, half page or the language of the record is not English. So those omitted or removed record has to be um, counted and inserted in that box and the reasons for um, exclusion has to be given. The next phase is to check for eligibility by reading through the full text uh, article, looking at if there is a full text article to be assessed for the eligibility of the article or the paper uh, to 
uh, the intended uh, systematic review and meta-analysis, whether the content uh, uh, matches with the objective or the aims, and those records that are addressing the same or the exact um, aims uh, or objective uh, with an outcome measured that is uh, similar, then those will be uh, recounted and inserted here. And then those um, records that are uh, not relevant to the uh, overall objective of the systematic reviews uh, and meta-analysis has to be reported and the reasons should be given uh, whether the outcome uh, from one study is different from another study or the measuring scale for one study is different from another. So in each phase of these, uh, uh, of the uh, prisma or the diagram, uh, reduction in the total number of the articles to be selected for the meta-analysis or the systematic review. Once the articles that are relevant and fulfill the criteria and the condition, then those studies or publication will be counted and included in the analysis if there is only the objective is to uh, write down a systematic review without meta-analysis. If the objective is to perform meta-analysis on the or on the data extracted from the uh, several independent uh, um, uh, clinical or research study, then the number of the studies that need to be included will be reported for performing the final phase, which is a quantitative meta-analysis, which is a statistical meta-analysis that will combine the results from those selected and picked up um, research studies and generate an overall uh, estimate of the effect size. So this is the PRISMA diagram that set the frame for how to proceed from the beginning until the end of performing the meta-analysis. What criteria is selected for selecting the uh, articles, uh, the screening uh, performs, the excluded record, or records and the reason for that, the eligible articles and the one that are included in the final step, which is the meta-analysis that will form part of the systematic review.